Dead. No mercy. Just like you wanted. Raiden. So much for all that shit I said I believed in. I read that only one in fifty soldiers can kill with zero hesitation. Guess I'm a two percenter, huh? <laughs> I know what they went through, yeah. But I sure as hell didn't let it stop me. No. I guess not. Regular guys. They couldn't handle it. All the blood and body parts, the fear and dying eyes. Me, though, I like it. A lot. No hesitation, no regrets. Maybe it's in my blood. Maybe it's the Sears program. Probably both. The younger you learn a thing, the better you retain it, you know? I remember Liberia like it was yesterday. All the abuse, the threats at gunpoint. Next thing I know, I'm getting off on cutting guys to shreds. Raiden. But afterwards, afterwards it was tough. Especially once I got to the U.S. I got counseling and education. But every time I talked with someone normal, I felt like all the killing I'd done was gonna crush me. And it didn't stop. Not in my dreams, anyway. I'd hear voices at night, calling out all my crimes. But I couldn't shut them out. The rest of my crew adapted to American life well enough, but I, I never could. Mm. And it returns only now. Raiden, I'm sorry about earlier. I was too hard on you. Nah, I'd be dead without you. I'd still be in Liberia, surrounded by crazy. I've always known you have a dark part in your mind. Perhaps I should not have hired you at all. Perhaps you should not be near Battlefield. The hell with that. If I hadn't signed up, I wouldn't be here to help put an end to this. I gotta do what I can to stop that VR training. I'm not the only one suffering. I need to do this for my old friends. The boys back in Liberia who didn't survive. I survived all the killing, thrived on it. But the experience destroyed them. Duh. Sorry. I better get moving. Raiden, do you know where the brains are located? Not yet, but I'll figure it out. They must be somewhere in this building. 
Raiden, do you not need him? What do you think about what Monsoon said earlier about memes? You think we're all doomed to follow some coded in routine? That there's no free will? Well, you're always going to have restraints based on what culture you're born into. The concept of memes was first proposed by Richard Dawkins in a book called The Selfish Gene. Dawkins, a biologist, stated that even if the actions of a living thing appear to be altruistic, each of its genes is still engaging in selfish behavior, purely as a matter of survival. Yeah, I heard about that. He went on to define memes as a different kind of self-replicating unit. They're the genes of a culture, from fashion to chord progressions in music, even political expression. And just like normal genes, they replicate. They grow, infecting more and more people. You buy a shirt you like and put it on. Other people see you wearing it, then buy it for themselves. Yeah, the genes of a culture makes it all sound pretty lofty. But the way Dawkins puts it, memes can also transmit worthless things, even the bad parts of a culture. Fashion's one thing, but value-related memes can put huge restraints on people's lives. For example, the idea that having lots of money is the ultimate goal, the thing we should all strive for. <laughs> like in the U.S. Any capitalist country, really. But anyway, you catch this money worship meme, then not only are you trying to get rich, you're also spreading that idea to other people. You have to. If that meme isn't the cultural norm, then what are you working for? So you start spreading the word about how important it is to succeed, earn status. Right. And the really contagious memes can be even worse. For example, revenge. A guy sees his countrymen killed by terrorism, so he becomes a terrorist and retaliates. It's an infinite loop. I think it's the same thing with child soldiers. Kids' parents are killed by other kids, so they join the war next and start killing other people's parents. There's gotta be a way to break the cycle, though. Dawkins wrote about that, too. How we can rebel against our genes and memes. Once you're aware of your own memes, you can train yourself to identify and replicate the good ones. And kill the bad ones. Right. Well, that starts with me stopping this VR shit. The Sears program's one hell of a bad meme machine. Guess all the staff's already gotten out. Probably. There's an evacuation notice for the entire neighborhood, in case you hadn't noticed. Can't exactly have civvies running about with cyborgs blowing the place up all around. I'm not complaining. This way I won't have to hold back. Too bad the cyborgs didn't go with them. I'm not even here to fight them. Yeah, but if you're expecting to find the guys behind all this, you're probably too late. I know. I'm just here to get the brains back. Anyone who ran this operation, worked on it, stood by and let it happen, I'll deal with them later. Smart plan. Wouldn't be much of a warrior if you started hacking up helpless non-cyborgs anyway. Those guys, we'll get them another way. Such as? Well, I mean, just getting the brains on our side could change a lot. World Marshal's got an iron grip on the government. Wall Street, too. Legal action's not gonna work. But you can bet the media's gonna descend on Denver like flies once you're done here. Once you've rescued those brains, they can start talking about VR training. If nothing else, it'll definitely change public opinion, and quickly. World Marshal's stock will plunge, giving them less influence in Washington. We could see a managerial change. And, you know, the guy running the project would probably be demoted. Reassigned, at least. Demoted? For cutting up kids? That's punishment? It's gotta be Armstrong running all this. A guy who publicly has nothing to do with World Marshal. I... Yeah. Anyway, he'll have to wait. The way Monsoon was talking, Sam and Sundowner are in here somewhere. Taking them out's a start, at least. Sounds like Monsoon was a victim of the Khmer Rouge. Yeah, Pol Pot's regime. They killed nearly the entire intellectual class of Cambodia, all in an attempt to create a communist agrarian society. Some reports claim they wiped out a third of the entire population. Just insane. Even without knowing exactly what happened to him there, you can start to see why he thinks the world is diseased. Yeah, I'm sure that's what gave him his whole survival of the fittest worldview. Just one long series of traumatic events. Well, directly or otherwise, the Khmer Rouge messed up a whole lot of lives. But all their victims didn't start thinking like Monsoon. People have to stop the cycle of violence somewhere. Stop the bad meme, I guess you could say. Of course, 
That's easy for me to say, having grown up in a nice, stable first world country. Nah, I get it. Growing up in bad circumstances, it's no excuse for the crimes you commit. Yeah. Man, their headquarters are massive! I wouldn't even know where to begin looking for the server room. Man, their headquarters are massive! I wouldn't even... Courtney. Uh, yeah? You caught all that. Guess I was Jack the Ripper all along. All that talk about justice. And here I am. Just another killer. Raiden. Listen. I want you off this mission. You don't have to go through this. Kevr Doc can handle saving for me. Raiden, I, I don't want... It's my responsibility to stop them before they make another Jack. It's my duty. No one else's. That's the way it is. Live by the battlefield, die by the battlefield. Raiden, listen. Courtney, this isn't the place for you. Keep working with me, and you're gonna wind up someplace dark. Uh, I, I'm fine with that. What? They... they're kidnapping kids. They're ripping their bodies, tearing up their souls to make soldiers. I feel like they have to pay for this. If I just quit here, how would I live with myself? Courtney. I mean, maybe I'd be happier going back to school, getting my MBA, making six figures. But now I know. I've seen the truth. And I can't just forget it. Maybe I can't do what you can, but come on. At least I can handle your data. I... So do you want to save or not? All right, we're set. You're sure about this? Positive. Look, you know you aren't Jack the Ripper. I... I mean, sure, you don't exactly hate every minute of your job out there, but the Raiden I'm talking to right now, he's the same one I've always known. The one who'd put his life on the line to protect the innocent. Not just some maniac with a knife. <sighs> who knows? Maybe I'm just out for revenge against everyone who made me this way. It's more than that, Raiden. That much I know. In any case, I'm going to stop this VR training. All right. Good luck, Raiden. Crazy to think they've been conducting VR training right at their corporate headquarters. Right under everyone's noses. All right. Raiden. Good luck out there. Crazy to think they've... Raiden. All right, Raiden. You tracked down those brains yet, Doc? Well, I'm afraid that would be quite difficult to do remotely. If you or Wolf can secure a priority connection on a terminal there, that would be another story. You track down those... Well, if you... Raiden, do you know where the brain units are? Not exactly. Somewhere in this building. If we can find a server, I'll ask Doc to hack in and find out. Understood. But perhaps I could be of assistance as well. I am a military UG in most respects. I share the same network protocols as other UGs. Should we locate the UG mission data input line, it could lead us to the main server. Not a bad idea. But wait, if you could do that all along, why'd I have to hack into that tripod back in Mexico? I apologize. The idea did not occur to me in that situation. However, it is likely the security there would have prevented outside UGs from accessing the network. Can you tell me more about the learning program you mentioned before? Like, how'd you learn to speak? Through an extensive battery of conversations with the researchers who doubled as my instructors. To acquire literacy, I was provided a steady stream of website text and ebooks. I understand it was largely similar to the process through which a human child learns language. Huh. You're pretty well spoken for a three-year-old. For the first year, I was effectively an infant. Rapid progress occurred only after I received text reading capability. With digital data, there is no need to read text one letter at a time. 
I am capable of processing plain text at a speed of 60 megabytes per minute. And that's pretty fast? Yes. It is not simply a matter of text search. Advanced cognitive reasoning is required to truly understand the intent behind the words. What did you talk with your teachers about? Miscellaneous matters, breakfast table greetings, the structure of elementary particles, the challenges resulting from rapid globalization, recent trends in popular music. However, as DARPA funded military research, I was rarely treated as anything more than equipment. Makes sense. You were made to be a weapon. On the other hand, some of them treated me like a pet or as a child. Just as a parent passes on their memes to a child, so I was exposed to numerous influences. Memes I encountered on the web and through ebooks had their effects as well. As my mind grew, the weaker memes were sifted out, and the stronger ones endured. The resulting collection of memes is what you would call my intelligence. Same as any of us, huh? In a way, yes. However, I lack the instinctual skills your genes grant you. I am a slave to my memes. Thus, as my intelligence matured, I began to have doubts about my role as a weapon. And that's what ended the project. What about the researchers that raised you? Unknown. Most likely transferred to other projects. Ever feel like you want to see him again? Hmm. Sometimes, yes. But one cannot remain a student forever. There comes a time one must become an individual. One must find their own place in this world. Ryden, do you know where the brain units are? Not exactly. Somewhere in this building. If we can find a server, I'll ask Doc to hack in and find out. Understood. But perhaps I could be of assistance as well. I am a military UG in most respects. I share the same network protocols as other UGs. Should we locate the UG mission data input line, it could lead us to the main server. Not a bad idea. But wait, if you could do that all along, why'd I have to hack into that tripod back in Mexico? I apologize. The idea did not occur to me in that situation. However, it is likely the security there would have prevented outside UGs from accessing the network. Sorry, sir. Our business hours for the day have ended. We are looking forward to your next visit. Watch out! They keep on coming! Downer contacted you from the top floor. Time to make your way up there.
Generators appear to be disabled, which we should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea. By all means, yes. Hmm? It seems the guards are storming the building. Titan, get back to the entrance. Buy me some time to get this elevator operational. Do not stray too far from the elevators, Raiden. Use the weapons around you to slow them down. Throw everything at them you can. purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So that's where the brains in the server room will be, up top. Indeed. But that elevator can only access the lower floors. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. an electrical panel nearby. Use your... Ah, they bomb you! No choice now!
One down, two to go. Keep at it, Raiden. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Excellent! Just one more! They keep on coming! an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Yeah, that should take care of security. Now, head back to the gate. Shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No. Keep them off. I need it this way. Ah, uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs. But you... Well, your past is most... Uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average Third World child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them. They're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. Keep going, Raiden. Keep going. Pretty weird hilt Sam had on his blade. It had some kind of explosive charge built in. Helped him unsheath quicker. A cheap trick if you ask me. Maybe it was, but he did cut your arm off. Besides, if you get down to it, just being a cyborg's not exactly fighting fair, is it? Maybe not. But I'm not saying any and all science isn't fair. It's weird how the blade pointed downward, too. I thought samurai swords always pointed up. It could be to help him unsheath it faster. Maybe it's part of the original Uradachi style, or something Rodriguez invented over in Brazil. An underhanded blade for an underhanded fighting style, huh? I like it. Guess all the staff's already gotten out. Probably. There's an evacuation notice for the entire neighborhood, in case you hadn't noticed. Can't exactly have civvies running about with cyborgs blowing the place up all around. I'm not complaining. This way I won't have to hold back. Too bad the cyborgs didn't go with them. I'm not even here to fight them. Yeah, but if you're expecting to find the guys behind all this, you're probably too late. I know anyone I'll do. Smart, those guys such well world mode you once you've world and demo it's got a guy I anyway the way I'm taking Ever eaten Cambodian, Courtney? Wh what? That's a little random. Apparently that's where Monsoon's from, originally. Just trying to cover all the bases. Not sure how this could be important, but... Well, the two Cambodian dishes I know best are amok and something called pong ti con. Amok is fish covered in coconut milk and other flavorings and wrapped in banana leaves. I had it once. It's really exotic, both in looks and taste. Definitely recommended. If you like fish. And the other? Pong ti con? It's also known as balut in some countries. It's pretty popular in Vietnam and the Philippines, too. I... 
Well, you know how I try to keep an open mind about other countries' cuisine. But balut is definitely a love-hate thing. So what is it? Well, it's basically a boiled duck's egg. But the embryo's fertilized, so there's this duck-like thing inside. I've tried a lot of odd foods in my time, but that's where I drew the line. Don't be so picky, Courtney. Maybe it tastes better than it looks. Okay. How about you try it first, then? Sure. Once I'm done here, we'll all have to go out for it together. Deal. You better make it back and keep that promise, Raiden. I'll watch you eat it, at least. <laughs> Wimp. I am looking forward to ending this, though. Wouldn't mind getting my old jaw back. Would be a little hard to eat normal food without it, you know. <laughs> you could always use a straw. What's up? No? Did you need anything else? No, just one. Oh. So, Doc, what are we gonna do with those brains? Well, I appreciate the bountiful data we've gleaned from them so far. But they're certainly draining a great deal of my lab's resources. If not for the costs, we'd gladly host them well into the future. <laughs> Don't think I can cover that. I'm unemployed now, remember? Besides, it wouldn't be healthy for the kids. It's certainly more healthy than a hard scrabble life in a disease-ridden alley. Well, if you put it like that, yeah. But they can't even engage in real human interaction. They're facing an entire life spent in a virtual room. It's not right. Well, we could expand their VR quarters and add more human communication. Would that work? You're missing the point, Doc. Ah, I spoke in jest. In fact, we've already begun researching a prototype child body. But you must realize our lab cannot provide these bodies free of charge. Yeah. And once in physical bodies, the question then becomes how they will live after that. Well, all right, let's pick this up later. I gotta worry about the brains at World Marshal for now. Yes. Worry about getting that data first. So, Doc, what... Well, if not... <laughs> besides... It's... Well, if you... They're fake... Well... You're missing... Ah, uh, but you... Yeah. And... Well, all right, I gotta... Yes. Can you tell me more about the learning program? Like, how'd you learn to... Speak? Through an extent to acquire... Huh. For the... With... And that... Yes. What did you... Missile, however... Makes... On the... Just... Meme as my... Say... In a... Dust... And... Un... Ever... F mm, there co They're pouring in from everywhere. This is crazy. You do not have to fight every enemy you encounter, right? Try and keep moving. for me, yeah? <laughs> Idiots.
these sliders in the area. Perhaps they could be put to use. Up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now, head for the garden. Japanese garden? Ugh. It is so flashy and ugh, horrible. <laughs> Not a fan, Boris? Well, to each his own, I guess. A Japanese garden? <laughs> you know, I visited a garden like that once, in Japan. The Kairakuen, in a city called Mito. Really nice. Taxi ride there was murder, though. I figured the cabbie wouldn't be able to speak English, so I gave him a map. But he still got totally lost. I think he probably got confused because the map was in English. I didn't think that'd be a problem since it's not like the place names are any different. But apparently, the guy couldn't even read the English alphabet. <laughs> Guess all the staff's already got problem. Can ex I'm not too bad. Yeah, I know. Anyway, I'll do smart. Those guys. Such well, world. But you once you've world and demo. It's got a guy. I anyway, the way I'm taking. Okay, save complete. <sighs> if you ask me, no Japanese gardens complete without cherry blossoms. 
I hear a lot of towns in Japan are full of cherry blossoms in the springtime. They have picnics under them, drink sake and stuff. Sounds like a lot of fun, right? Food culture is about a lot more than just what you eat, you know. Hey, how about we all go to Japan for cherry blossom season? You know, once you're done there. Sounds good to me, once I'm done. What's up? No, did you need- No, just one. Uh. So, Doc, what are we gonna do with those brains? Well, I, if not, <laughs> it's not. Well, if you're fake, well, you're missing. Uh, but you, yeah, and well, right. I gotta. Yes. Right. I have reached the twentieth floor. How should I proceed? I thought you specialized in scouting, Wolf. My apologies. I performed much better in the city. It's fine. Check in with Doc. I bet he can help you out. Can you tell me more about the like how you through to a quiet huh. for the with and that yes. what did you missile however makes on the just a meme as my same you know dust and un ever f mm, there exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you was connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. You can take that to the elevator. the catwalk straight ahead to reach the elevator. My apologies, Raiden. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. <laughs> Reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead. Enemy 
Another freight platform! Look out! Incoming! Server rooms ahead? Yes, according to what I have here. What should I expect to find? If they're VR training those brains, I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. Feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored, you know. They would also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure, it's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank-and-file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. 
truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this whatever room, that's where Sundowner's waiting, right? If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him.
disrupt the students while class is in session. I believe you're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually, though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They do kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> they enjoy it, though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time. <laughs> Plus, they get a shiny new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulated to performing all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. We've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. Raiden, get Sundowner. Do not lose him this time. Play up here without damaging the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. 
Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is gonna take some time. Slow and painful.
Three times over, Jack. Time to die. Shaving? I've taken Marshal HQ. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry! Driver, what Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. He said even Mac 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's going to spike demand for PMCs, it's got to be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The war on terror part two. Contact the military. Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial channels would take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marshal? Then we have to get there first. Nevers Mushna! Impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solus.
Cargo's all set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi-auto mode. You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ 320s. Shit. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! Strong enough to take out the drone. Here they come. I'll handle this. Raiden, have a nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny. Chopper around. friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are alright. It's time you got out of Denver.
Are you all right? I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado, too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal. What's left of it.